Hey guys, my name is Iman and this is tutorial number 5 on Latin hypercube sampling. In this tutorial, I'm gonna approximate the area of unit circle using Monte Carlo and using uh, Latin hypercube sampling. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the performance of both methods. Uh, I already showed the result using Monte Carlo and I said as we increase sample size, as we increase n, the results get more accurate or the range gets smaller and smaller. Now, I repeat the same thing using Latin hypercube sampling. So again, I set the sample size, for example, to 4,000 and I iterate 100 times. 6,000, iterate 100 times and so on and so forth. So if you compare the result uh, for Monte Carlo with the result uh, for Latin hypercube sampling, it's obvious that the range here is smaller. Uh, but in order to quantify that, I consider the same performance index. Basically, for the same number of sample size, we have like 100 iterations or 100 solutions. So I measure the distance between all the solutions and then I consider the maximum. Here is the uh, maximum difference for two methods. The red one is Monte Carlo and the blue one is Latin hypercube sampling. As you can see, the blue curve is always below the red curve which means uh, uh, Latin hypercube sampling can achieve better performance using the same number of samples, or we can say Latin hypercube sampling approach can achieve uh, the same threshold using less number of samples. So that's the value behind Latin hypercube sampling. It can achieve the specified threshold using less number of samples and therefore less computational complexity. You know, this is just a simple example, two variables. So the, you might say the difference here is not like very large, but you know, if you consider a big uh, problem like 10 random variables or 100 random variables, the difference in terms of computational complexity is significant. And you need to use Latin hypercube sampling to generate less samples and uh, basically in decrease uh, the computational complexity. So that's the main value behind Latin hypercube sampling. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks a lot for watching these tutorials. If you have any question, please send me an email. And thanks again.